This episode was sponsored by Squarespace. Honey Badgers, one of the most memed builds in the game. They have the reputation of being nearly indestructible, and also extremely bold when it comes to challenging other players to fights. But what is it about the Honey Badger's stats and abilities that make them such an unstoppable force? To understand that, first we need to understand the guild that they're part of, Mustelids. Since the start of my channel, Mustelids have been my most requested topic, so as a preemptive thank you for reaching 1 million subscribers, here's the video you've all been waiting for. So, Mustelids are a unique guild of carnivore players that were kind of forced to get creative with their strategies in order to stay relevant. See, the Caniform build, the one a huge chunk of the mammal player base is based on, already had two high tier builds take hold in the meta, those being the dogs and the bears. These builds were too powerful to compete with directly, and so more janky strategies started to crop up. You had some that took the Canoid build and adapted it to a marine playstyle, allowing them to avoid dogs and bears entirely at least for the most part. And then you have the Mustelids, which opted for a unique combination of defensive abilities and mobility perks that somehow allowed them to compete directly with the dogs and the bears, and in some cases, granted them favorable matchups versus builds that canines struggle against. They've also got particularly dense fur that offers defense from attacks and also negates frost damage. However, they aren't without their weaknesses. Their short limb length means that their mobility caps out lower than other caniforms which means they don't really have the option to flee from a fight. The base new Stella build is the Weasel. Their lack of bulk and short legs means that their HP and mobility stats are quite low even for their size, but their slender build does grant them a unique and important advantage. It allows them to follow their prey into their burrows. Rabbits, snakes, and moles are all safe from most larger predators below ground, but Weasels are completely unfazed by this defensive tactic. But with that said, they're easily bested by even mid-tier carnivores like foxes and coyotes. They also haven't got much defense against birds of prey. Mustelids are actually the most diverse carnivore and guild in the game, but to be honest, many of them are mid-tier at best. So today we're going to focus on the three most viable Mustelids in the current meta, starting with everyone's favorite, the Honey Badger. Don't worry, I'm not here to tell anyone that Honey Badgers are actually low-tier trash. They're quite effective in the current meta, owing most of their success to two abilities. The first is an AoE morale debuff in the form of their odor gland. Now, they don't have the same projectile capabilities that skunks do, but they can still create a noxious zone around them that inhibits aggressors. It's especially effective at pacifying large groups, making it extremely useful for dealing with the swarms of bees that they have to deal with when they're looking for honey. The second ability is their loose skin and thick fur combo that makes dealing any significant damage to a honey badger extremely difficult. Their small eyes and wide necks make landing a critical hit near impossible, meaning that they have no problem challenging builds that normally rely on crits to win, such as big cats. It also helps defend against builds that utilize venom, because getting fangs or stingers through thick fur and hide isn't easy. Overall, I'd place the Honey Badger in low A tier. But when it comes to power, Honey Badgers are actually not the strongest of all the Mustelids. That honor falls to the Wolverine an animal so fearsome that even though they don't have retractable claws or regenerative powers, this X-Men hero is still named after it. But more importantly, the Wolverine is perhaps the most effective intimidation build in the game, because while it can deal enough damage to bring down prey on its own, it's primarily a scavenger that uses its extreme durability and power to scare more conventionally powerful predators away from their own loot. Birds, wolves, and panthers all get their kills stolen by Wolverines quite frequently. One Wolverine allegedly even bested a polar bear in battle. They also have wide feet that allow them to negate the mobility reduction caused by deep snow. On top of all of this, they too have access to the same stink bomb AoE move that the honey badgers do. In fact, their odor effect is so powerful that they've been nicknamed the stink bear, which is saying a lot considering bears are also one of the smelliest builds in the entire game. All this combined makes the wolverine a top tier tundra survivalist class. But as tough as they are, there's one more mustela on our list that I rank even higher. The last build on this list is the most intelligent Mustelid, and also the only one that's fully aquatic, the Otter. Because of their special ability Webbed Feet, Otters get a huge mobility bonus in water, turning what would be a relatively average build on land into an apex predator in the water. Most Mustelids are solitary, but some Otters, such as the Giant Otter, form tight clans that enable them to tackle challenges they couldn't alone, such as defeating opponents like Anacondas and even Caimans. 
But what really makes this build so impressive is that instead of specking into the same odor effect that other Mustelids do, they spent their evolution points on higher intelligence. It's one of a very short list of builds with access to the tool use perk. Otters can deal with extremely high defense levels by cracking their target's armor using stones, which grants them an exclusive food source other carnivores simply don't have the skills or tools to access. And because of all of this, it's otters that are the OP Mustelids, not honey badgers. Mustelids are often hunted by humans because of the fur that they drop when defeated. Not only is this fur completely hydrophobic, granting the wearer water and frost resistance, but it's also very sleek and elegant. But you know what else is sleek and elegant? The websites you can make using Squarespace. If you're looking to create a website but don't know where to start, Squarespace has you covered. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Squarespace enables you to create beautiful websites that can showcase your work, sell products and services of all kinds, promote your business, and much more. Whatever you want to make online, make it with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash tierzoo for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code tierzoo to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, as well as those of you who support me via Patreon. Thanks again for watching and good luck out there.